Anyway, so the first person we're going to watch today here on Sovereign Citizen Saturday is an interesting case. It appears to be a Sovereign Citizen type who is also a Trump supporter based on his interesting choice of headwear. We're all very aware. Uh, a certain red uh, cap with a slogan on it. But more interestingly, it appears that in this video, at least from the bit that I've watched at the beginning, his wife has arrived with a court order to get their kid, basically. I don't know the details, so I can't speak to that. However, based on this video, it appears that a cop has come with the mother to procure a child that the court has ordered go into the custody of the mother from the father. So yeah, let's take a look at this interaction. Hydrate. Will do. His channel's full of other Sovereign Citizen stuff, by the way, so I imagine maybe some of that and conspiracy stuff might have something to do with the uh, custody battle. Again, speculation, I do not know. He has multiple cameras ready. <laughs> cop walks up, cameras set up on a fucking tripod. You think the cop's like, here we go. Here we go. He was probably already warned by the wife or ex-wife or whatever the scenario happens to be. Sky Comet Fallen says, Another divorce court, quote, victim turns chud. How long until he goes MGTOW? He's probably already there. He's probably already a big Terrence Pop fan. Um, Honest Noir says, Is it me or do these guys all seem to have a look? <laughs> I know what you mean, but I don't like to stereotype people based on their looks. Yeah, how you doing? All right. Is there anything I can help you with today, sir? I guess we're still here for child custody issues. Well, first of all, can I have your name and badge number, please? It's Ekman. 1057 is my badge number. Thank you very much. Do you have your ID with you? Uh, no. I, there's been no crime committed. I don't need to present my ID. Okay. Okay, but like, you could, and I don't think it would hurt, but okay, cool. Um, Narnini the Owl says, residents just off in the woods, just follow the cameras. Um, hats off, history chick. What would you like me to put on for your hats off? Let me know in the chat. Otherwise, I'll put on something random. Well, there, she's here to pick up the child and she has a floor. Whatever happened to the red hats doing the whole thin blue line thing? I thought they loved the police. Isn't there a line whenever, like, a person of color gets shot by the police, you should have just complied? How's this guy mesh with that ideology? Probably not very well. For order for it. The Jadora. People love the Jadora. People are telling me every day we love the Jadora. Everyone loves the Jadora, they say, okay? The Jadora, it wins, and it cannot stop winning. The Jadora. Jadora! Bittergrin says <laughs> they were also against blocking traffic until they started doing it. I'm starting to think they're just hypocrites. Can I see the court order? All right. Can, Can I, I see, see your the... ID? I get the court order. I know, the Jadora's fucking fantastic. <laughs> I'm glad your family got the Jadora. It's rad as shit. Everyone loves it. Well, this is a two-way street here. There is no court order, there as far is... as I know. You give me a hats off, I give you a Jadora. This is maybe the best trade deal in the history of trade deals. Okay? Let me tell you. China has no Jadoras. They expect us to get all our Jadoras from them while giving nothing back. That's all I got. I don't know. People who... It, once I post this to YouTube, everyone's already left because of my bad Trump impression. Jesus. There is. There I'm is not a... showing you a court order if you're not going to identify yourself as the one on the court Well, order. I'm a private citizen, so... Okay. Well, we if can do, if listen, you're here, I've identified myself as the father the of my we child. We can do it the hard way. Your choice, right now. Okay. You understand you're on private property, right? And there... <laughs> I don't understand what he thinks that means. Hasn't been a crime committed right, here, what right? What state do you live in? Okay, but the cop is there on a matter that pertains to the law 
at minimum, like, civilly, I don't know what it's considered. It's not a criminal matter, so I gotta imagine, like, hey, your wife has custody and we're coming to pick up the kid. That's a civil matter and cops can be employed in dealing with civil matters. Like, when there's a court order involved, that doesn't mean the cop can't be there, tell you, like, hey, we're here for the kid. This guy come up, Fallen says, they stopped the cop bootlicking after January 6th. The cops were meanies to people who aren't black. That's not supposed to happen. I live in my state, the Constitution okay. State of Connecticut, and I follow the Constitution Absolutely. and the Bill of Rights, All and right. you took an oath to do the same, did you not? Okay, the Constitution allows the states to have the rights and, and whatever that are not guaranteed to the, like, not rights. Gives them the powers not delegated to the federal government under the Constitution, right? The Tenth Amendment, okay? So... The state that you live in has empowered counties to employ police and deputize the police to enforce laws and to enforce matters like this. So constitutionally, you need to listen to this fucking cop. <laughs> I am. That's okay, well, thank you very much. Please respect right. my rights as a citizen. And I'm a father and, and deep concern for my daughter's safety. Not for much longer, you're not. Okay. I'm doing the right Hang thing. Out here for me. Yeah, thank you. I just want to see the court order. I don't need to ID myself. I don't even know why he's making this difficult. Like, I don't know what the court situation was. I don't even really care. Not my business. Although he decided to film this. So he let it be everyone's business. Regardless of why your child is no longer going to be in your custody, they're not going to be. Why are you making this difficult? You're just stretching this out. You're making it more of an ordeal for you. You're making an ordeal for your wife or ex-wife or whatever the situation might be. You're making an ordeal for your child. Why do this? You're just coming off as an asshole and reinforcing probably why they're not allowing you to, like, have custody of your child anymore, quite frankly. That's just my opinion, though. Yeah. Is there a safety reason for U.S. cops to wear sunglasses all the time? No, I think they're trying to disguise their eyes. They're trying to, like, make themselves harder to read. Um, and also, they think they look cool, probably. In fairness, they are also, you know, outside a lot of the day. So, <laughs> Just want to protect those peepers. So he's taking pictures of the license plate on the cop car, taking pictures of the other car, which presumably his wife, ex-wife, whatever the, the current legal situation is. Feels gross. Feels intimidating. I don't know. Again, opinion. <laughs> I don't know why he would need that information, but nonetheless, he now has it. Not anything against you. I have the utmost respect no, for the law, sir. That's fine. You're being recorded as well, so. I have the utmost respect for the law, which is why I'm making it incredibly difficult for you to carry it out, okay? Well, That's great. It's, it works both ways. Exactly. I do First Amendment audits all the time. I got a civil yep. case, federal case against the Department of Revenue Services. <laughs> oh. That probably explains a lot. This is just speculation, but I'm wondering if he, mayhaps, this is, again, speculation, his federal case against the IRS, which is a bad move, if I'm just going to put it out there. I'm wondering if he didn't pay taxes and maybe didn't tell his wife or something, and they're getting a divorce over it, and now he's trying to sue the IRS because he doesn't want to have to pay taxes... 
and then there's this custody thing. Again, I'm just building a narrative in my head based on what I'm seeing, but seems believable based on what I understand about sovereign citizen ideology. K.R. Goss says, I get to serve my husband with court papers soon. Um, Illinois law requires me to have him served with a court appearance in order to have our child's name changed, trans chain name change. We share a house and he signed off and notarized that he will attend the court date. Seems a little weird to pay a sheriff to serve him. MW1642 says Snipe becomes the stream boss. This guy come up fallen with 45 bit says, I thought they all wanted to look like Captain from CSI Miami and pull their sunglasses dramatically. Seems like your victim picked a fight with the wrong raccoon. Cue the Who music. Wow! Atheist Brony, thanks for 14 months, says, Just got here from a mini star versus marathon. What have I missed? Not much. This guy's having his kid taken away by the police. Via court order. And uh, I expect, well, I suspect that uh, this more or less has to do with the cop whose butthurt feelings I upset yesterday from Vernon. Oh boy, I can't imagine why your court appearance didn't go well. <laughs> When you describe your interaction with a cop or judge or anything like that as, I made them butt hurt in relation to your custody case, your legal defense is probably going great. By calling her, by, by calling her honey. Yo, know, I, I know. I know, but I'm sure you guys got a call from them. That's really disrespectful. I just got a call from her from child custody. All right, so the issue here is... I mean, you need to be brought up to speed. I don't know if you're on a one-way ticket or not. This is a two-way street. We have equal custody of our, of our kid. She's in danger over there. She's been abused. She's been traumatized. You okay? Gotcha. Just kitties doing stuff. Tea with Goblins with 100 bits says, Hannah, Hannah and her Jadora, a star in stripes. So how we adore her. Hydrate and a hype train started. 81% to level one. Thanks. Try and get to level five. I know, surprise, right? A streamer who wants to get to a level five hype train. Who's heard of that before? Tized, like, and we're breaking her out like of her I shell. We're giving her a safe environment to right, live in. It's, it's a civil issue. That's right. All right, listen. I told her before we even came over here, we don't remove children from a biological parent. Thank so you very case, much. Listen, if you didn't want to give up the child, she would have to go back to court, right. explain to them, or call DCF, because DCF has the power to remove a child. Oh, so they do have joint custody. Yeah, that's probably not going to work then. That's a shame. Um, Nick says, use these bits to bribe the kitties not to tear shit up. Honest Noir says, I don't know whether to respect these cops for keeping their cool when dealing with these guys or be more angry that they seem to never be able to do so when dealing with black people existing in their line of sight. Uh, the second one. You should be frustrated knowing that they are capable of keeping their cool but choose not to under selective circumstances, generally based on someone's race or... I don't know if they're in a poor area, whatever, whether it's a white person or a black person, but often a black person because racism, uh, Ivana be spanked. Thanks for 17 months. Sure. They can try. I know my rights with them. I got a lawsuit well, against saying. them too. All right. we don't get involved. <laughs> How many lawsuits have you filed? Uh, what if we do the criminal side? This yeah, that's is a fine. Issue, that's right? fine. That's that's why I was a little aggravated with you guys even coming here. I've been harassed by police for the last two days. I haven't even committed a crime. Me. Yeah, but I've been right. getting phone calls all day and night. Not from me. From right? your office, from your department, and from Vernon. And to me, that's unacceptable. Maybe the resident trooper or something. I'm not Being a civil trooper. matter, you could have educated your superiors and said, hey, isn't that a civil matter? Well, why are we even going to go out there and waste our time I and don't resources? Deal with them. I'm not the resident of the town. All okay. right, so you can bring up. Oh, I certainly will. Right. We're audited. But I thought I was told there was a court order. Didn't they say there was a court order at the beginning, but he's saying they have joint custody? Is it like a temporary custody transfer during whatever hearings are going on currently, maybe? Like, they currently have joint custody, but it's like a temporary, like, the kid needs to go with her thing? I don't know. Citasaurus says, Hype train, yo. Tell my cat to stop misbehaving. He's screaming like a lunatic and jumping on me repeatedly. He doesn't seem to understand uh, how many times I explain that... It's not food time yet, just because I walked in the door. Calm down, kitty. Jimmy Lynn with 50 bits says, Hi, Hannah. Got a job, so I don't I don't get to watch your streams as much. Thank God for YouTube. I'll try not to be so naughty anymore. <laughs> Love your stream. Well, I'm glad you were able to get something. Um, I hope you enjoy the YouTube uploads. Editing this tone. 24% <laughs> level. All right, I'm not the one here. You probably love my work. Check me out online. Tyrant Slayer Studios. I'm a huge supporter. Right. Oh, I didn't mention... Tyrant Slayer is the name of this channel. Tyrant Slayer Studios. 
Minister of Law Enforcement, I give you guys more. He's a Trump fan, though, but he slays tyrants. More compliments so, and credit than anybody in this country. If you want to see the court order, if you show me your license so I can prove you're the one on the court order, I'll be more than happy to get it from her or show it to you. Okay, so there is a court order, so he is supposed to transfer the child to her. Okay. You want to do that or no? I don't think it's necessary. I'm going to make her go through all the channels. All right, go through the channels. All right. She can the do whatever I... she feels necessary. She's already got a decent... Making this more difficult than it needs to be is going to make him look way worse in court. Because if there is a court order and he's basically refusing to abide by the police trying to carry out that court order, it's going to make him look terrible in court if he's doing some sort of like longer term actual custody battle that deals with like the wife or ex-wife or whoever, girlfriend, whatever, getting full custody. That's not good. UCF case working That's against fine. her, so, so it gives I'm me not... more grounds to take my daughter out of her house and bring her here. I'm not here to pick the size between I understand, two. sir. I just want to give you a little side piece of advice. Mm -hmm. All right. She has a court order from a judge. Mm -hmm. All right. It's a civil, so I don't, I don't mm -hmm. involve enforcing it. Mm -hmm. All right. The same judge that uh, that let her stay with the ex that I tried to get I a restraining order and punched her in the so face in front of my daughter. That same judge that that's not much of a judge. Yeah, screw that lady in her black cloak. If you're looking to get full custody of your child, which oh, I certainly like am. Because whatever issues she has at mm -hmm. her place, major issues. Because I don't know. All right. The only advice I can give you is, it's not going to look great for your case when a judge is saying she. It's can, for it because she's in imminent danger listen, if she leaves she this driveway. Child, she right? is in imminent danger, and yep. it doesn't matter if a judge. Imminent danger. Joey is strong. Thanks for 200 bits. Poetic Fox with 100 says I. Almost grew up to be one of those kids. Luckily, I got leftied at the time I did, uh, leftied at the time I did high school instead of being led to being chuddy anti-law assholes. That's good. Judge is ordering right. to put- 41% to level two. Put her in imminent danger to me or not, I am her father right. and I'm not Listen, going to allow my daughter to be put in danger. I didn't danger. say you had to, I'm just saying. Right. All right, just thinking about is that. Is there any legal recourse? There's no criminal violation involved with me making her nope. go through these channels, so we correct? Have well, then we're all set. Points of abuse here or anything so no yeah this place is good man it's i got five kids here yeah just, all of her brothers are here we're all united as a family for I'm the first time you know as long as you thought about that oh yikes um pardon the confetti with 200 bits air horn purple pondini with 5,000 bits absolutely insane thank you and then vast lunacy with 10 tier one subs thank you very much i and all of the gift sub recipients are very appreciative of that Wow, that hype train just accelerated to a thousand miles per hour immediately. Avenue, oh, looks I'm... like you got your. Thank you for all the generosity. We must be over level five now. We're very well prepared five. for this, sir. Right. And I didn't mean to be rude coming off off the rip like that. It's fine. You know, it's just I felt violated immediately because I haven't committed a crime. Because she called and us now there's police in the driveway. And I told her, hey, I know you're on Strickland waiting for an escort, and I've already advised you not to come on my property. If you come on my property, I'm going well, to have to have you trespass. Me, instead of having her down the road. Okay, so. but still, yep. if you ever have, if anybody's ever going to escort here, she's not allowed on this property. She's not allowed on this property, and I would I'll like her know. warned right now. Yep, and she will. Be T with Goblins with 100 bits says, I know I mentioned it before, but the anti-vax sovereign citizen losers are still camped out in and around uh, Canberra, the Australian capital. Yesterday, they were squabbling over whether to set up a micronation on the lawn of Parliament House or just to simply try arresting the government again. They have been given until noon today to leave their campsite, which is about an hour. This ought to be interesting. Fun. Sky Comet Fallen says, Geez, bro, learn what a condom is. The world can't handle more stupid people breeding like crazy. Um, 163% to level 5. I don't like the implication that intelligence is inherently hereditary. It's not. Educational level, access to education is the most important factor. Like, I don't think my parents are particularly smart, but I think I turned out okay. I don't know, though. Let's pass next time. All right. All right. Yeah, thank you very much. Any other questions or anything I do God bless you? you and yours. Be well, be we swell. Shake hands. Stay safe. Yeah, the dude, it's so okay. much. That's just pure paranoia. The, the, I get <laughs> oh, he's an anti-masker and a COVID denier, too. I'm shocked. What is... Wow, he's a Trump supporter and he's involved in a custody battle and he hates the government and he's suing the IRS and he's potentially losing his kids and he doesn't believe in COVID? What a very unique personality that isn't mirrored by countless other <laughs> MAGA supporters. Get it? But Mortality rate is less than 1%. You probably... Untrue. 
Um, Princess Amelia with 100 bit says, Perhaps if I argue with policemen some more, he'll let me do what I want. I don't get this mentality. Privilege. He is incredibly privileged. And he thinks he can get whatever he wants by talking his way into it, which has probably worked a lot of his life. Nick says, Heritability of intelligence aside, I still don't think this guy should breed because he should not have the chance to shape a young mind. I don't disagree there. They're gonna die of pneumonia sure. or something before you ever get COVID. I share the same opinions you do. Thank Unfortunately, you. I'm in you can get pneumonia from COVID, you idiot. <laughs> They're not mutually exclusive. Pneumonia is something that can happen as a result of other, like, infections and other conditions. What? Do you not understand that a lot of people who die of COVID die of pneumonia caused by their COVID, you idiot? <laughs> Hate these people. In the uniform, I gotta right. go by our policy. Right, official capacity. I get. You think it. I like wearing the mask? I no. And you know what? I'm actually yep. pleased to see you wearing it. And I'm gonna make a story of that later on because yep. my wife and I have been talking to a number of attorneys around the state about police who aren't wearing masks and are within six feet of other people. Well, we have the policy. That's why I have to wear it. That's good. I'm my glad the state police are doing that. That's Troop K, right? Out of Colchester. Okay, out of Colchester. Very right. good job. Well done, Troop K. Out of Colchester, ladies right. and gentlemen. Any this man is wearing a mask. Or anything I can answer? So you don't believe in COVID, but you're also with presumably your current wife talking about being mad at cops for not following COVID restrictions, even though you don't believe COVID is an issue. Very consistent. No, that's it, right. man. Thank you very much for your service. I guess you date on Wednesday. Make sure you're there. Bring whatever documentation you want to bring for them, all right? Now, is it customary for a police officer to make me aware of my court date, or does the court have to do that? Don't I have to be advised and, and made aware by the court? Aren't Probably. I supposed to get a letter in the mail? Well, Everybody then I'm not is, going to acknowledge listen. any court date until the court tells me well, what here, my sir. court Odd. I would have just thought, oh, thank you for letting me know. That's a nice heads up before I get the letter from the court. Weird. Dank Herm with 500 bits says, glad I came to catch a live stream. I watch all your VODs. Um, well, very, uh, I'm very appreciative of that. Thank you. I'm not a marshal, not serving you. Correct. Dangerous. There you I'm go. So there you go. I don't She's have to show up. have one. So oh. if you forgot or whatever. Sorry, I'm a little slower today in my responses and like my brain functioning. I had to get up really early. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling very well this morning. So I got up hours and hours earlier than I normally do. And yeah, so I'm a little... A little slower on the uptake today. <laughs> Bear with me. There is no court date that I'm aware of. This, like, I took custody of my daughter on Sunday. There's no way I got a court date on Wednesday. Well, Let's Friday, put it like that. Whatever or Friday, whatever it is. Until the court. Why do you assume you're that intimately aware of the inner workings of the court system and how long it takes to get a court date set for this particular matter? <laughs> He's overconfident. Lily Love Stuff says, uh, Jesus, if I had the compliance or confidence of one of these white men, I could be unstoppable and it would be over for bitches. Court notifies me. That's I fine. have no court date. Absolutely. All right. Sounds good? Oh, yeah, I'm all set. You're dismissed. <laughs> You're dismissed. These fucking people. Stop wasting taxpayers' money showing up for civil matters. What a loser. What's up? Oh God, is this a this is later? I'm assuming. <laughs> oh no. Uh, the atheist Brony says when they say the survival rate of COVID is only one percent, I advise them to Google the modern mortality rate of the bubonic plague, with treatment it ranges from one to fifteen percent. I'm doing fine. You got some court papers for me? Yeah. I Good. I was wondering if you guys were gonna make it. I'm Marshall Woodruff. How are you? I'm doing well, sir. Thanks for this identifying is, yourself. This is uh. This is, uh, I just need this, right? Yeah, no, this is a court order signed by Judge Amarda that you have to give the child. Yeah, that's going to put her in imminent danger. I don't think the judge is aware of this. Imminent danger. Situation. So we'll go ahead and well, wait to handle yeah. it in court. <laughs> Again, it's a court order. You don't get to just be like, mm, nah. <laughs> that's not how this works that's not how this works it's going to end badly for you because you will then be 
found in contempt of court? Like, you can't just say nah to a court order. If you're really rich or, like, friends with the president, you can probably get away with that. If you're just some guy, yeah, that's not going to end well for you. Bittergrin says, imminent danger of what? Getting vaccinated? So I, want I can't to... put my daughter in imminent you're danger. Gonna... You're going to ask me to put my daughter in danger? Is that uh, what you're asking me to do, sir? No. What is your name, sir? My name is Gregory. Okay, and you want to for enforce a court order that's going to put my daughter in danger. Is that correct, sir? To... Is that correct, sir? You want me to release my daughter into your custody and okay. put her in danger, sir? Here you go. All right, thank you very much. Have a good day. Okay. There's a court hearing on May 20th. Excellent. You better believe we'll be there. You want my card? Uh, no, you've been very professional. There's no need for me to follow up with you. Is that guy ever take that hand off? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And this guy come up following and says, I think he never grew out of childhood oppositional defiant disorder. <laughs> I think a lot of people these days have that problem. Yeah, just note in any paperwork or any documentation you have of this encounter and following up with your job that Releasing my daughter into your custody would have put her in imminent danger because she would have ended up back at her mother's house in imminent that's, danger. That's what the paper says, right. yeah. Thank you. All right. Bye, Thank you. I'm doing well. Lily Lovestuff says, you know he fucks in it and he isn't a gracious lover. <laughs> He's in and out in 45 seconds. And then he lays down and he goes, did he come? <laughs> How are you? Good. If you're, uh... Yes, I am. Tim Riley? Yeah. Oh, look, another time the police have come to try and exercise this court order. Nick says, conservatism nowadays should be considered a subset of oppositional defiant disorder. Yep. Yeah. Have your name and badge number, sir? You're in the middle of a uh, separation with, or uh, split up with a girlfriend, ex-wife or something? No. You have a kid with somebody you're at odds with? Some, a lady called not at odds with anybody. Burning There's just a... To do a well-being check. Oh, he's lying to the police now. That's an interesting strategy. Oh, okay. You, yeah, my daughter's fine. I have five children here. Uh, Can I get her name, uh, Aaliyah? Araya. Araya, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Are you guys, uh, are your body cams rolling right now? Yeah. Okay, good. What's the uh, call number on this? Can you guys give me the call number? Well, first of all, we can take care of all this semantics later. But first of all, we gotta let, let us let you know why we're here. I understand why you're here. You so wanna the, do a well-being check. The biological mother. <laughs> Again, he puts on the screen, these two aren't wearing masks. That's strike two. Tyrant Slayer Studios. You already said earlier you don't think COVID is a big deal and don't care. So why would I take your claim seriously here? I think they should be wearing masks. I agree. But I also take COVID seriously and am vaccinated and boosted at everything. You are using it as a strategic move because you are an opportunistic piece of shit. You don't actually care. <laughs> Called and wants Just a well-being so check done on her. We have the, do you know her name? Yeah, Priscilla. Okay. And wanted to said she hasn't seen or spoken to her daughter. Her daughter like just that. tried reaching her and she's not responding. So I'm not sure why you she's wasting any, your time. I've never met your daughter. She's 11. So yeah, that's uh, fine. I feel really bad for these kids. Two dads. We'll yeah, great. Dad. Yeah, it's a very serious issue going on here. She's can she in, poke her head outside? And we she can confirm, absolutely can. It's confirm just, that she's okay and yeah, we'll be on our way? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, just go ahead and get that call number for me, and uh, I'll go ahead and get my daughter for you. Thank you, Timothy. Yeah. We'll also want you to document in any sort of report that you guys are going to file that this is 72 hours consistent harassment by law enforcement and Priscilla. So basically, for three days straight, the cops have come and tried to exercise a legal court order, and you have defied the court order thrice. You framing it in a different way doesn't change the material facts of what is happening. You know that, right? The judge isn't going to be happy that you are just going, yeah, fuck your court order. Not how this works. Uh who have been constantly calling me at all hours of day and night for three days. This is the third encounter I've had with police and marshals in my driveway in less than 24 hours. It's absolutely unacceptable. Okay, we're not this is a civil. No, I, I, underst officer. I understand that. Do, I understand that, but you might want to call Priscilla and ask why she's not answering her daughter's phone calls to, l to learn and know that she's okay and why she's wasting well, taxpayers' well, resources. They'll escalate the force if he keeps this up. No, they won't. He's white and wearing a Trump hat.
they probably agree with him. <laughs> to do that. They're cops. Hi. Hi, buddy, how are you? Yeah. Hi, young lady, how are you? Good. And What's here? your name, young man? And here this. Tell him your name. He called you guys. Uh, he called the police like a week ago asking for help fighting for our freedom. This is my... Oh, these poor fucking kids. My little brother. He's he's upset about the state being locked down. We're very active uh, aren't, here. Aren't we all? We can all probably board here. Well, jump on board. We're suing the governor. You should too. How much money is this guy wasting in frivolous lawsuits? Can I jump on the Pizza? Oh, okay. How old are you? Eleven. Everything good? I promise. Oh, okay. Hey, how are Very thorough checkup on the kids, cops. Don't even separate them from the, the dad at all. Just, just right when she's standing next to the dad, be like, you doing good? Fucking idiots. <laughs> Auntie Pretzel says, I just, I just want this guy to get arrested. This is frustrating. I know. Like, let me give you an example. When I was younger, um, CPS was called on my household um, for an incident. So CPS showed up. And you know what they did to question me about what had happened? They, one of them took my dad inside and questioned him. And then they took me outside and questioned me separately. <laughs> you see how that works? That way you can't have a parent standing right there and being like, the implication of, you know, they're going to hear what they say. And if your parent is right there, you're going to be afraid to be honest if something is going on. Absolute fucking awful cops. Nick says, I'd say he wa he's wasting his children's college fund on these lawsuits. But let's be honest, he probably thinks only communists go to college. Virtual she she would like some of her toys and some things. I don't think he thinks only communists go into college, but he probably thinks only communists come out. <laughs> From home, so if you can have mom call and facilitate the means to get that stuff here, that'd be great. Yeah, she's in Vernon. Hey, you guys gotta go back inside now. Hey, buddy, how are you? Hi. Go back inside. Go back inside, you guys. <laughs> They, they're, probably, they're, they're probably bored to tears. Well, yeah, they love company. They love people. They love Contactless. police. They love people. It gives them a chance to interact with someone other than myself, who's clearly a piece of shit. Contact. There's your case number. Excellent. Thank all you right? so much. All right. Thank you guys. Yeah, all right. These fucking cops. Take care. Yep. So I'll keep an eye on this guy's channel um, and kind of see what happens with that actually was that an old video let me take a look real quick because that was one of the more popular videos that was a year ago so i'm curious what happened after that let's take a look so there's that video let's see if he has any follow-up videos to see what happened there Lily love stuff says i deal with these i'm filing a lawsuit guys all the time he's representing himself and reads contracts without signing them at all uh this is a pain in my ass i bet there's a word for it uh, in relation to sovereign citizens. They're called paper. It's called paper terrorism. This guy also does the First Amendment audits thing and refuses to wear masks and gets kicked out of places. You get it. <sighs> Says I'm not. Why does he have multiple videos with over a million views? There are a lot of sovereign citizens and also people who laugh at sovereign citizens. It is the one, it is the only, it is your favorite tyrant slayer, fresh out of New England, representing all of the United States. But, uh, more exclusive. I just want to see if there's any update on that case. Folks, um, I guess, uh, first and foremost, uh, make sure you check the link in the, uh, channel, in the, uh, video description here. Uh, we are going to be going live on a, uh, open panel, uh, hosted on, uh, Jeff is here live. 
Uh, we've got some great big news and great big plans to uh, share with you as a community of auditors this evening who have uh, put our time and resources together to make big things happen. Excellent. Thank you for joining me here, everyone. Sebastian Lawyer, uh, Texas Daily News, Timothy Levens, Daryl Turner, Virginia Olson. Thank you very much. Comedy Corner. What's up? This looks like a case update. Oh, he's drinking, Great. Hydrate and hats off. What would you like me to wear for a hat? Flower crown? Cool. I will put on the flower crown. Um, also the hydrate. Wabajack says, the last I saw the kid was taken from him. He is, of course, trying to get them back. Oh, thank God. H. Baird says, set that intro to music and you get a mediocre 2000s emo song. Do you happen to know uh, what video or around when that happened? Because if you made a video about it, I would love to take a look right now. Um, and be able to see. Flower crown. Oh, that's classy. <laughs> that was a denim oh. hat. It's been 30 seconds. And it's still yet to get a viewer. Well done, YouTube. Well done. All right, there we go. There's a like. There's three viewers. It only took 45 seconds. This algorithm is really hating on Tyrant Slayer Studios. You just know from more recent videos of his, Artie, Van Balian, etc. have covered. Okay, that's good, though. I'm really glad his kid got taken away. And I'm here to bring you some very important updates. Before I get going, there's a few things I want to cover. Hello. If you're filming yourself, mirrored sunglass is not great. You can see the camera the whole time. It's very distracting. Hello, Mr. M. From Arizona. In the house. Thank you so much for your support today. Oh my god, get to the explanation. This is how you build court cases. This is how you properly defined uh, trespassing. One of the things I want to, to share with you before I, I start showing you this. This is is months of in investigating this is what auditing looks like this is how you build court cases this is how you become a positive force for progress and i'm going to share with you everything i've been doing behind the scenes uh because you the audience deserve to know uh and that's what it's all about it's about educating you it's about i mean sh i've learned a hell of a lot going through all of this myself uh and it's about making a real positive force for progress so um, before I get into all of that, I'd like to mention Long Island Audits. Here's a young man who's got the decorum and the professional approach to be able to engage our local law enforcement officials and hold them accountable for what they're doing. Very much like what we try to do here at Tyrant Slayer Studios. And we are, you know, we have been, uh, we're going to be drumming up uh, a, a ton of support. I've got a lot okay, of... Okay, I'm going to try one more, because this one says family court update. And then we'll move on. While running video intro. as well. I was actually able to gain... Oh god, is he fucking talking into a potato? ...gain access unobstructed to some of my records today. Uh, yesterday. Imagine that. Imagine that. I must uh, commend and give commendations to Court Service Center Manager Peter uh, Dwornick. Please forgive me if I'm butchering that. Dwornick, D-W-O-R-I-N-K. Oh, I'm sorry. Dwornick, D-W-O-R-N-I-K. Peter Dwornick, you are a true professional. And uh, the state of Connecticut... Jeff, thank you for the raid. Everyone, go check out... Real Jeff Holiday here on Twitch, please. I've known Jeff for years now. We've, uh, I believe Jeff was on for a Chick Tract at one point. Really cool guy. Very funny. Very smart. Go check out Jeff. Hi, everyone from the raid. I am Hannah. Uh, I'm a streamer who looks at all sorts of stuff. Looks at, uh, conspiracy weirdos. Uh, looks at crypto crap. Uh, looks at, uh, right-wing weirdos like Ben Shapiro. All sorts of stuff. Oh, yeah, is this dementia? 
Um, <laughs> today, we're looking at a very specific subset of conspiracy theorists known as sovereign citizens. Sovereign citizens effectively believe that the law does not apply to them and that they don't have to own uh, license plates or driver's licenses. Often, as in the case that we're watching right now, there are child custody disputes. Not good. So, uh, you came for an interesting one. Should turn to Peter. Oh yeah, Mega Money. We, we do a thing called Mega Money Mondays or something where we look at dumb stuff rich people buy. Any sort of state worker, uh, anybody working for the public should, should turn to Peter and take note. All right. I'm giving up on this guy, though. At least we know from someone in chat who said his kid did get taken away, which is good because he seems like a crazy person, quite frankly. So, let's move on.